In tonight's Upfront segment, we're focusing on the importance of nutrition in our schools. Next week, hundreds of nutritionists will head to Washington, D.C. to lobby for continued support for school meals. We're joined tonight by Oakland Schools child nutrition consultant, Lori Atkins. Thank you for your time, Lori. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. What is the primary goal of uh, this trip to the nation's capital? Well, I'm going to be joining 700 school nutrition colleagues from across the country and talking with members of Congress about the urgent need for extending pandemic-related waivers for school meal programs. The Legislative Action Conference is held every year uh, in March in Washington, D.C., and we learn about issues and we do networking and we have legislative office visits. So during our legislative office visits this weekend, uh, we, uh, along with my several Michigan colleagues, are going to be advocating for our child nutrition programs. And specifically, we're going to be making an urgent request for continued support from Congress and USDA to allow for critical waiver extensions for our programs. Now, these school meals have become so important for so many kids and families. You had a recent survey identifying supply challenges as one of the major issues right now. How is that playing out exactly? Yes, well, during the pandemic, the supply chain broke down and um, it's still not back to capacity. So when the School Nutrition Association conducted a supply chain survey of our school food service operators, virtually every program operator indicated they're still struggling with shortages of menu items, shortages of supplies and packaging, discontinued products, of course, staff shortages, and higher costs across the board. Um, so our waiver extension that we're seeking are really needed this year so we can continue to safely serve our students and quickly adapt service models if we need to. Now you touched on some of those challenges, higher prices, another one, even higher than contracted bids in some cases. And how about those staffing challenges? I mean, we see that repeatedly with our schools, with bus drivers, even teachers. Is that a concern in, uh, in our cafeterias in schools as well? Yes, absolutely. Um, we've been short on staff and um, schools have had to realign their production systems to make things more efficient. Um, they've uh, now expanded breakfast in the classroom, breakfast kiosks and hallways. And this is kind of a more efficient way to service and using less staff and being more efficient. Um, some of our districts have even leaned into other bargaining units like the custodial staff or even transportation staff to kind of fill in during uh, crunch time, if you will, at high schools and middle schools, just helping with dishes, taking cash, and helping those lunch lines move forward. Well, we wish you the best of luck with uh, the trip and the conversations that you'll have in Washington, D.C., clearly so very important for the uh, health and well-being of kids in schools. Lori, we appreciate your time tonight. Thank you for having me. Lori Adkins joining us on 7 Up Front. Glenda?